Okay, the first Grit and Sheen challenge is a hollow form. Uh, since I've not really done a hollow form before, this should be interesting. I have no tools. Let's see what I can do. Okay, here we go, my hollow form, but I haven't finished yet, because here on the jam chuck is a bit of walnut that I've made into a ring, and now we're going to play with that. With the ring, I'm going to put some lovely Yorkshire grit on this to make it super, super lovely. Uh, and then we're gonna part that off and get on to the next step. Oh, and Hampshire Sheen. Here's the ring. So clean at the bottom, then that bit's done. So we have the ring finished. We have our Farsi urn thing. On to the next step. Here are the legs carved out. Quite fine. So sanded 120, 240, 320, 400, and I'm just about to do some 600 grit now. This is the last one.
There we go. Five minutes each leg, each grit. Okay, this is the last stage. Gluing up could all go wrong. There's very, very little for it to glue onto, um, but hopefully it will work. You see, I've got these blobs of um, hot glue, uh, and these basically just have a pocket for the feet so I can then use the elastic bands to hold on the top and also it just means that they can uh, be more accurately held there. Now the legs are all been tested. Now, okay, so they're all pretty straight, almost straight. You can see by how tall it is. So it's about two and a quarter inches high this. Each of these little legs are about six mil across, five mil across, and five mil wide, a little bit about four mil thick. It's very exciting, can't wait to put the little thing in, the little vase in. So the vase itself is about three and a quarter inches tall. I've right, got to get this done before anything happens to it. This is so, so fragile. Little tiny legs off the floor. Third legs behind there. There we go. That's my entry into the challenge. Well, that went really well. Much better than I thought it would. Um, it's given me a lot of inspiration for future stuff as well. Um, I really want to do one of these a lot, lot bigger. Um, so I'll be working my way up to that. Uh, so we have the hollow form itself, which is almost like a classical urn shape. Very, very pleased with that. Nice lines, hollow inside. Hollowed that out with a six mil uh, spindle gouge, very, very slowly. Um, Sorry about all the film I lost actually, um, this ended up being more like a video log so I apologise for that, um, it couldn't be helped but I obviously put in as much as I could. Um, so we've got the, the classic sort of urn shape there, I don't know if you can see that, nicely hollowed out inside, a little bit thick on the shoulder because my homemade Allen key tool didn't work quite as well as I thought it would but it's still you know, a fair job. Um, and then the stand, the individual legs, which were shaped and glued on using a method seen in the video. It's good, that method, because it acts as a clamp on the top with the elastic bands. So uh, that's something I'm going to be using again in uh, different ways, I think. That's, that's great. And then obviously... I've got to be careful because it's very delicate, it's not going to fall apart, but there we go. There we go, that is my entry into the Grit and Sheen um, Hollow Form Challenge. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and come back again soon and I'll see you next time. Take care, cheers guys.